Kerala police were able to track down Pottagam Rajesh, the second accused in the Pottangod Sudhish murder case, by alertly following his phone calls. Sudhish's murder was gruesome as the assailants had chopped off the victim's leg and hurled it on the road after hacking him to death. Kerala police also lost a policeman. when he drowned in the lake at varkala when a boat carrying him and others went in search of rajesh at an islet capsized though all the other 10 accused in the sudish murder case were arrested within days rajesh eluded the police net after the death of the official in the varkala lake the police intensified their search for rajesh and they included over 50 shadow police officers in the team of the rural police who were investigating the case the team began monitoring the phone numbers of people close to rajesh and soon noticed a call to one of these numbers from tamil nadu the call came from palani and rajesh asked for some money from his acquaintance however rajesh's contact immediately hung up the call the shadow police team immediately traveled to palani and found that rajesh had made the call with the phone of a native of that pilgrimage town with the help of the palani native the kerala police identified the places rajesh might have visited in the town and collected cctv visuals from these areas the police found out that rajesh had gone to the bus stand from where long distance services to kerala operated a photo of rajesh and his details were also passed on to the drivers and conductors soon rajesh's acquaintance received another call from tamil nadu It came from the premises of the Coimbatore bus stand. The police team traced the owner of the mobile phone used to make the call. The man told the police that a stranger had requested his phone to make a call to his native place. Later Rajesh made one more call from Ernakulam bus stand on another person's phone and a police team from Pothankod rushed to the city and inspected the buses there. Within hours the next call was tracked from Kollam and a police team searched the bus stand there. Rajesh who was waiting for a bus to Tiruvannathapuram was arrested by the police from here according to the police Sudhish was killed to avenge the attack on the parents of Sudhish Unni the first accused in the case Rajesh is a close friend of Sudhish Unni according to sources Ottagam Rajesh decided to return to Kerala as he was running out of money news desk Kaumudi Global